Can we just take a moment to talk about local websites and geo-related content? Hey everyone, my name is Marie and I own an SEO agency. As I work on sites, I talk about the problems here because I know there are more of you doing the same thing. All right, so we all know that we have to add geographical type information for the city that you want to rank well in. But you can take this too far and add so much city-related information or geographical type information that you are actually outweighing the main subject of your website. And you are focusing the optimization on city type keywords instead of AC repair or plumbing or whatever type of local business that you currently run. So if you have a local site, take a look at the, your landing page for each of your cities and highlight your headings. Take a look at your headings. Your headings should highlight your service in your city area. However, if you find headings that are completely dedicated to the actual city, how many of those headings do you have and compare it to the headings that you have of your actual business? So for instance, if you are a plumber or an AC repair person, how many headings have you dedicated to only the city and how many headings do you have dedicated to your actual service. So for the most part, your headings should be dedicated to your service within that city. So for instance, you have AC repair Alamo Heights. Alamo Heights is the area that they are targeting and AC repair is their service. You can see air conditioner repair, Alamo Heights, HVAC repair services in Alamo Heights. And when you take a look at the headings, what you don't see are complete sections only dedicated to the city, like all of the bus stops in your city or where all the libraries are located, just completely dedicated to the actual city. Sometimes what I'll see is a title that says Alamo Heights, or details of Alamo Heights, and then it will give very specific details about that city. What you want to be very careful of is that your geo-related content about your city doesn't outweigh your actual service. So what I want you to do is keep track of how many headings that you have of only your service and how many headings do you have of only your city type details. Now, for me personally, I like to weave in city details into your actual service areas. I have another video that I did about a local website that was weaving in city details really well into their actual service paragraphs. There was not a paragraph only dedicated to the city. But what I'm seeing right now is a trend of multiple paragraphs only dedicated to the city, and it just doesn't make sense to the end users for AC repair or plumbing repair or tree service. When they land on your landing page, they are not looking for how what is the population of Alamo Heights, what are the best restaurants to eat at in Alamo Heights. They're not looking for where the bus stops are in Alamo Heights. They're not looking for 20 or 30 different sets of driving directions in Alamo Heights. So for one, you need to keep the end user in mind and your clients in mind so that you are not confusing them. But two, the most important, I'm working on a website right now that had so much information only dedicated to the city that they were serving that they had actually tipped the scales and Google thought they were trying to rank for city information. Their biggest competitor was the city website of that area and not the actual service that they were trying to serve. In fact, they were not ranking in the top 100 for their service because they had so much city type. You need to make sure that the city details are just a fourth or a portion of your page, but the page entirely is optimized for your actual service. You are not competing with city type details.
you were competing for this particular company is actually competing with other air conditioning services. And if you take a look at their headings, they have air conditioning in Houston, Texas. They are using these paragraphs to not only talk about their service, to, but to talk about the surrounding area. If your website has dedicated paragraphs only to the city, and sometimes it says city details of Houston, city details of Austin, how many of those do you have compared to your actual service? You can actually tip the scales, drop you out of the top 100, or have a stuck site for your actual services because you have talked so much about the actual city. So think of it like a scale. And you don't want to talk more about the city than you do your actual service. The weight of your actual landing page should be about your service within that city with city details dripped in throughout. If you want to see a website that I felt did that well, check out the video that I'm linking to you here.